Hello there, everybody. This is Grant. We're signing to the Collector 75, and welcome to another Transformers The Last Night. I was about to say review, but this isn't really one of uh, a typical review, really. This is just a figure I just wanted to show, really. I was going to try and review it, um, but it's very, very, what's the word I'm looking for? Annoying is probably the best word. Um, this is, of course, the Last Night Legends scale, or Legion scale, that's probably right, uh, Infernicus. Um, but it is also a retool of that, oh my god, was it Transformers Prime Abominus? And that was just annoying. Um, it's just the way it combines together, like the, the legs are a complete and utter nightmare. Um, I still haven't found a way to actually get these tabbed together. They sort of go together, but they don't stay tabbed in. Um, and every time when you put it down, they just come apart. So I sort of like just keep them apart a little bit. Keep them as close together as you can. And then it does sort of end up forming some sort of foot. And you can use the heel spur here. Just bend it down. So when you're putting it down, it finds its natural position usually. Um, it's just because I messed about with that leg. There we go. And so you can get him to stand like that. And believe me, playing with it is a non-starter, but posing it is just the best. I mean, I just think this this looks amazing. I just love it. Um, it's great. I think the head sculpt is probably one of my favourite ever head sculpts. I think that, that has come straight from hell. Let's see if I can zoom in on it here. I hope you can see my little thing there. Um, it is just an absolute fantastic... It, it's called, it, it literally, like I said, it just looks like it's come straight from hell. I love it. I love it. It looks like charred, burnt stuff with fire inside. I just love it. I just think it is just really good. So if you couldn't tell, I actually really like it. Um, and I just think the colours go well. The dark... Um, hello, what have I done there? There we go. Yeah, the dark... This bloody stands are bloody annoying sometimes. Yeah, so the dark colours with the orange just 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 pops out right at you. And I just love it. Um, now, the figures are all in black deco. This is a completely new sculpt, the actual central figure who forms Skulk, is it? Um, now, he doesn't actually transform other than into the torso. Um, and the others are exactly the same as the Transformers Prime, just in a black deco. Um, for better or worse. Now, to be honest, if you remember, they did come out with some oversized versions of this guy and this guy. But they never made the rest, which is annoying, um, because they actually made them deluxe sized. Um, if they had finished them off and then used these as that, you can imagine you'd have a, 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 a combiner here in Furnicus, which would be twice the size. And that'd be brilliant. I'd love that. There was a knockoff that you could get that was roughly that size, um, but it didn't hold together particularly well. To do a knockoff of this like that, I'll be all over it. Anyway, um, I was going to say something else then. Uh, it's going out of my mind. Anyway, so it is just a really good figure. I mean, just looks wise. Uh, I paid full price for this. I think I paid 37 quid and the collector 75 luck struck again. As soon as I buy it a week later, it's, it's down to what, 20, 28 pound. I knew I should have bloody waited, but there we go. That's the way it happens sometimes. But then again, I just think that happens to everyone. You know, you buy one figure at a full price when you could have waited and it would have gone down. Other figures you, you make your money on when they go down in price. So it always sort of evens itself out really. You can't be lucky all the time. But it's a good figure. I, I just love looking at it. Um, the box sold me as well because I love these sort of like wave different boxes. Um, I don't know what you call them. Wave, not exactly wave two boxes, are they? Because these are like wave three or four figures. Um, but it's like the mission to Cybertron thing. I just love the look of the boxes because you've got all that, like I said before, the honeycomby Cybertron Energon cube thing going. And then you've got pictures out of the film on one side, which is pretty cool. I like that. And this this figure also does come with um, a mini Quintessa, which is kind of cool. And it does come, I don't know if you can see it without me knocking him over. Yep, I thought so. Oh, I've knocked him over now. So you get his big sword, which is kind of cool. Uh, right, okay, I'm going to leave this here, really. You can't do much else with him. He does come with some nice articulation. You can sort of like, don't know if that's going to move at that hip joint, but he's certainly got knee joints. Um, and he's got 
arm joints. They're just very, very stiff. And if I move it now, it is literally going to um, fall apart on me. So, and you can turn his head. It is a bit annoying. And these, it is actually mistransformed in the back of the, sorry, the box, um, which is a bit weird. But it's a very, very just nice looking figure. I think there's a way you can put these um, wings angled upwards, but I couldn't figure it out. And I wasn't in the mood for messing about with it too much. Um, but I just like him. I just, I really do like him. I think he's a cool figure. Once you get him to stand. Um, let me see, actually, see if I can bring him in a little bit. And just get a good look at that head sculpt. That is just, I just love it. It's evil. I love it. Absolutely love it. Oh, that was the other thing I was going to say. About there being a knockoff oversized version of this. Well, the uh, original Transformers Prime one. Uh, this actually size is probably just about right because in the film, I believe, when they com did combine together to form him, um, he was roughly the same size of Optimus Prime anyway. Uh, so, you know, he's, he's, he's okay. He's actually in scale, I think. Uh, yes, I think I've gone on long enough about this figure. It's actually pretty good. I, I just love looking at it. It's one of these ones that I bought based on just the looks of this. And that's why I'm not really showing them off because the individual bits are okay. But this is why I bought it, and this is why probably anyone would buy it. So there we go. Um, if you want it, it's down at 28 quid online on, on Toys R Us. If you, you might be able to find it in store, but I don't know if they've come down in price in store. But anyway, this has been Graham, the Collector 75. I'll see you all next time. Um, don't forget to rate this video, comment on it, and subscribe, and anything else you want to do, really. Uh, I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.